fan. <laughs> and I hope you guys can be a fan of me. <laughs> Smash the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Give me some ideas in the comments for any, anything you want to see. And just drop any questions you have as well. Why do we go for the old stuff? They didn't have technology back then that they could save money on, you know, in terms of copper. But most of the time, they'll now just use aluminium wire. Most scrappers nemesis. You can tell by the wire, because if you scrape it with some pliers, it'll just turn up silver underneath the copper looking color. So this is why I only go for the old stuff. And this is an old fan. Moretti. I think so, yeah. It looks old. Like bulky and well made, so you can tell it's old. It doesn't have cheap plastic everywhere and it's heavy. <laughs> See a calling card of something that's old, well made and heavy. <laughs> so, what I'll do, I'm going to take the uh, screws out and I'll show you what the motor's got for. Okay, so I had to smash the cover off, <laughs> which is over there. <laughs> that's your bolt. So, you can tell it's old school and this is metal. But very old. <laughs> so, I'm just going to take these bolts off and I'll show you what's within. Stay tuned. I'm just left with a weird metallic looking flower. Look at that. Metal flower. <laughs> Pop these off. It's bugger. It's heavy. I like it's got a big motor in it. And if we're lucky, find that it has some nice gaba in it for us. Tough customer. And what do we do with tough customers? We make them a bit more reasonable. I really need a voice. <laughs> Where? I'm just gonna put this on level ground. No, that's not Donald Trump's dandruff. I was cutting a wire. <laughs> Smashing away on the edges. Come on. Woohoo, very nice. Look at that. See, I told you lads and ladettes, the old is the gold. <laughs> very happy with that one. There's a knack to this. I know a really easy way though. First of all, before I get too excited, we've got to do the aluminium wire test. Get your tin snips. Let's do a bit of a snip. If it's not silver underneath from business. Now look, see. It's normal copper. I'll just smash this off and come back to you soon. Okay guys, so you might be asking me, what do I do to get this off? To pop this nose bugger out. And we did <laughs> this. <laughs> so it was like that. So I basically just grinded it with that beast over there. Just down the middle. Chiseled a little bit here. I mean, I've just knocked around the edges. So get a mallet and just whack around the edges of it. Boost up the edges. So I absolutely pulverized it. Smash in the middle. And just cut down the side because it just releases the pressure. And then smash around the edges a bit more. And voila, this bugger is gone. Let's just test what this is. Just check. Yeah, that's still. You might be asking me, how do you do this? So I mean, you could do it two ways. Angle grinder on it just grind down the middle but you can just colour the wire but I think just as is this is still type 2 because it's like recycled and it's got some colouring on it so it's still type 2 so I, I suppose it doesn't matter but if it's pure bright doing this is probably not the best idea in between here you can just cut it out with the tin snips I'm not sure if I can be bothered to do that today <laughs> but that's another way you can do it but look there are just like loads of little compartments so it's a good idea sometimes these overlap and I think once it's broke they just feed out really nicely this is quite tough so what you do really, if you wanted to do this, you just prise it out, so you cut around the edges, prise it out, and just cut as you go. It takes a bit of time, but you get some nice copper out of it. Or just cut down the middle, that way, in four places, just in each corner, cut down the middle, bit of a grinder, and it all just come away. Completely up to you. It's raining outside at the moment, so I don't really want to use a grinder So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, but I'm gonna show you the what I've got once I've done. Okay guys back in a bit That was like shearing an electric sheep <laughs> Look at that. That's what we got so far from one end So that's what, it, that's what it looks like now And now what I do I just angle it. Yeah, just there with the falls weapon Should I say pull and these sides will come through and you won't have to actually cut this side hopefully I'll let you guys know what happens once I'm done. <laughs> you need <a> horse. <laughs> That's how it comes out. We have to make sure on the other side, you basically have to give it like a barber's trim. Because it's like that, it like anchors it in on the other side when you're trying to pull. So give it a snip, just there, make sure it's nice and flush, see, so it can be pulled up through that way. Okay guys, I'm nearly done, and we'll just weigh it as well. <laughs> Thank God. So I also found you can use these to leverage against this and pull upwards. So that's a good way to do it. Just left with a piece of big steel. I mean, you guys can keep that. I'm not too bothered about steel though. It's not worth it really for me. I just don't have the space. If I had a big farm with a big truck, I probably would do it, but I just don't. So <laughs> leave that to you guys. All the stuff we got. So I'm going to put it in here. 
smash it in. This jar weighs 0 0.6 kilos. So we're just gonna see how much we would have got from it. And just estimating Australian dollars. And you can do the conversions yourself. Or I can just basic estimate for you. <laughs> Little shreds of that. Now put all the crap that come off it just down the sides. So you can just do this, you can just get it into like a little pile. Sweep a zip up, huh? <laughs> Giving like this thing a copper haircut earlier on. We're like shearing sheep or something. But look at that, like a whole jar full of just type 2 copper. Even if it doesn't weigh a lot, it's just free copper at the end of the day. So let's turn this on. I want to do a video on how to do your own scrapyard soon as well, because I've not seen anyone do that. I mean, I'm a scrap merchant, so you could do it with $500, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> so this is 0.6. 0.3 of a kilo, so a kilo at the moment. Type 2 is $6. It's about $2.50 Australian. That'd be probably about $2 American. Maybe £1.25 English, thereabouts. But look at the end of the day, it's free copper. I know how to do it as well, so I enjoy it. I like the challenge, and it all adds up over time. But guys, if you like the video, <laughs> act like that fan I just took apart earlier and smash subscribe and punch that notification bell and give me some ideas in the comments for any videos you want to see or any suggestions or just any questions. So let me know. Keep scrapping, guys, and I'll see you next week.